Here we are looking at the student view or the parent view. So again, here's our language arts class. And we can't see a score here for quarter one. We just see our, our link. So we're going to click on that hyperlink. It'll take us again to the quarter one details for that class. The teacher, the grade, and so on, score descriptors, which we are going to hyperlink, by the way. So when a parent clicks on them, they'll be able to see a full description of, of what it means to be proficient or advanced, for example. One of the new things we noticed here is now we have something under missing assignments. Test D was not submitted, and there it's part of the tally. Now we have one missing assignment. It was due on this date. We're going to go down to the assignments and then back up to the category details. So here for our assignments, we've added A, B, and C, and D is listed a little bit, is not listed there right now. We've got categories A, B, and C, and you'll see that we have all the standards that were targeted for each one. Now remember, test D is not in there because it was a missing assignment, so there's nothing to report. It gets listed up here. So here we are down here, and we can see on for test A, 3, 3, and 2, we see the scores for each one of their you know, assessment toward the standards. And we can also see how they were rolled up into these overall scores. Okay, so we have a 3 for reading literature, a 3 for writing, and a four for reading informational text. The one thing that doesn't change down here, remember we had made this italicized earlier. It was exempt from the work. The two doesn't count towards their score, but it's visible for parents to see. So it's a talking point for students and, and their parents. We know it's there, but it doesn't count towards their overall score. Same thing for up here. We have a one and we had a but it wasn't the most recent piece of evidence. Again, we had a three down here, and we chose to count that one as the most recent piece. We did an override. That's why these look the way they do. In conversations with parents, it may come up where you're asked, how were these calculated? And in truth, it's not a calculation that we look at. We're simply taking a look at the evidence of mastery towards a standard. When we feel that they've become proficient in, in their attainment of a standard, that's when we go back and report our proficient. Now these scores will change to a proficient or an advanced once we have the word descriptors in there. For now, they're listed simply as numbers. That's it.